So for question one, we've been asked to expand some algebraic equations. Keep in mind that expand means to get out of the brackets. So take them off. And one thing we have to remember is that everything outside of the bracket needs to be timesed by everything inside. So you can, if you want to, imagine a little tiny invisible time sign between those. But what happens here is we need to take that 5 and times it through to all the terms inside. So 5 times c gets you 5c, and 5 times 4 is 20. But that was 5 times plus 4, so that's plus 20. So our final answer on this one is 5c plus 20, being sure to expand the number and times it through to everything inside. Taking a look at question B, or part B, this one is also asking us to expand, but here we've got two sets of brackets, so two brackets. And in this case, we need to think about using foil or claw, depending on which way you like to think about it. So if we draw it out, we need to go m times m, or sorry, m times 2m, so that's going to be 2m squared, and then we need m times 7, which is going to be 7m and that's a plus 7, so we have a plus 7m. And from the other end, taking that 3, but be careful, it's actually a negative 3, so we need to take the negative 3 times 2m, which gets us negative 6m, and negative 3 times 7, which gets us negative 21. As our last step here, we need to combine the like terms. So 2m squared, 7m, and minus 6m are the similar terms, they're like terms, they both have an m, and plus 7 minus 6 gets us actually 1, so we're just going to write plus m minus 21. And I'm just saying plus m because remember there's a little invisible 1 there, you don't have to write it. So again, in this case with two brackets, you need to foil or claw, taking each term and timesing it by the other terms in the brackets helps to draw them out and make sure to combine your terms together. Another way that we see this problem is written out like this, and it might look like one set of brackets, but that squared there means, oh hey, I need to rewrite this to make sure that I say p plus 5 bracket p plus 5 again, because that squared means I have it twice, I have two sets of those brackets. And now that I have it written out like that, I can see that it's two set of brackets, so I'll go ahead and use the claw again. p times p is p squared, p times 5 is plus 5p, and taking the other terms, 5 times p is plus 5p, and 5 times 5 is plus 25. Looking again here, I've got p squared and two terms that are like terms, so 5p plus 5p is going to be 10p plus 25, and that's going to be our final answer. Part D. And this one is still part of the questions where we're being asked to expand, and so what we notice here is that we've got one term outside of brackets, and then a minus sign and brackets here. So we might ask ourselves, like, what are we trying to expand exactly? But if we remember, there's a little invisible 1 in front of that bracket, and what we need to think about doing is expanding that minus 1 through to everything else. So that's going to be our first step. We'll leave the 7 as it is, and we need to do minus 1 times m, which gives us minus m, and minus 1 times negative 3, which gives us positive 3, because a negative times a negative becomes a positive. So now we've actually expanded that expression. There's no longer brackets, and as a final step, we can check for like, like terms. And in this case, 7 and 3 are like terms. So we have 7 plus 3 is 10, minus m, and that's going to be our final answer. So watch out for that. We do not times the 7 through, because it's not 7 times the brackets. The 7 is not directly in front of the bracket, like you see here there's actually a minus sign between, so we need to expand through that minus first.